I thought I heard something. New character. Can you say hi, Finnegan? Hey, Finnegan. Hey, what do you got there? Lunch, huh? I was just thinking of lunch myself. Doctors. No way. Yeah, Not feeling good today? I have an ear infection. What do you have? An ear infection. It's like ear you have infection. that grape medicine you use me. The grape? Uh, the grape flavor? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Why are you here for? What am I here for? I'm That's here to see your boat. dad. I'm here to see your dad. Is this your boat? That's my boat, yeah. Why? Why is it only yours? Well, it's not only mine. My wife, too. My family. Well, Daddy, why yeah. do you paint that on the bottom, my dear? Why? Yeah. It just helps us see the boat better. But why Have a good lunch. Tell him thank you, Why buddy. were you here? Oh, we'll talk about that later. All right, say bye. Bye. Screws. These are the screws we took out right here. Wow. Just a, about 10 different sizes. We've, we've been aired the bulkhead since you were here last. No, we were just uh, finishing up uh, looking at the bulkheads. We hadn't seen it installed. And we said margin of error for this latch to work, so everything's got to line up really nice. That new piece came out, huh? No, oh, yeah, that's the new face frames. Those are going in right now? Yeah. And then we have to do this rail here, and this thing's ready to go in at that point. Well, here we are. It is June 17th. 17th. Thursday. 2015. <laughs> a day like all days. Day. Filled with those events that make your time. <laughs> all right, here we go. So, we're well, just, we're mounting doors. You have to cut out for a doctor's appointment, right? Yeah. In a little bit. Real soon. And then you'll be back. I'll uh, be back, yeah. All right, I have to cut out by about 1.30 today. I'll be back next one. Okay. Minutes. So we got, we got hardware, it, hardware going on here, some cabinet yeah, doors. Yeah, we, uh, we weren't going to use the doors. We were going to do some other kind of doors there on the new electrical panel. So we used those doors. Somewhere else? Face frames in the new, where the closet was in the, in the sitting right. room there. Yeah. We used those doors for that. And we decided to do the doors there. No, no big deal. We just used the other doors from cabinet number seven. So. Okay, right. That's why I thought we could switch back the doors. But there's a little bit of monkeying with all the hardware, obviously. I mean... Uh, we should have just used the regular doors on the old. Well, we just had to like yeah. resize the screw. All the screws, these are the screws we took out right here. Wow. Just a, about 10 different sizes, so. <laughs> All different kinds of sizes. What we're doing is like, you can see right here, we reamed them out with a step drill so they'd sit in flush and. Nice. You know, just, everything just set nice in. Yeah, but you gotta do some, now we know why there was all these paper shims under these, the latches and stuff, so. But you just, figured all that? We think we have. I mean, it's all about getting it to the catches to engage. So exactly, and that's why they had all those shims on there. Yeah, yeah. So we we'll get a monkey with that until it gets gone, but no biggie. Um, it's just these are the, the doors we salvaged off the cabinet. We deleted in the saloon that are going to be in the stateroom now. And we'll show you the face room of that weird little stuff, like the little paper spacers in here. Get these to work, and there's a very small. Like we said margin of error for this latch to work. So everything's got to line up really nice. And of course, the old hinges we had to countersink just a little bit deeper uh, because the old screws were very small and metric. So these are number sixes. Yes, Clint showed us this pile that you have here. Oh, all yeah. the various screw sizes that were in, in these. Uh, yes. So yeah, quite, quite a nice selection. Yep. But now they're all standardized. Pretty much. I mean, we, we tried to go with, I mean, you got number fours, number sixes, you got flathead, oval head, round head, Phillips, slot. In one door I took off, six of the screws, there were six different screws. <laughs> <laughs> so, six for six, huh? it was like somebody was cursing bitterly when they did that job. 
What I love about these doors, I love the color of the wood on the front. The, the back side looks like plywood or something. Well, it isn't. No, it's solid wood. It's solid one, wood. One of these. Actually, we but I what is the, what is, look how kind of lovely. It's and, Honduras mahogany. That's a mahogany. Which is, you know. Interesting stain or just a very golden color. Well, Honduras is, when you varnish, it's naturally that color. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Because so, some of these, I believe. You're saying these may not even be stained. These are just all. I believe this. One of them, we, one or two, we stripped completely. Right. And when we varnished them, it looked like they were stained again. Oh, that's great. This looks like those face frames we had. Right. We didn't stain those. Those are just varnished. Yeah. Okay. But like this here, and I think we stripped this one. Yeah, we did. It was pretty bad. It was peeling and so forth. Yeah, and now you just have that the nice satin stain on there. But yeah, but there's no stain. It's just yeah. just straight varnish. Varnish. And that's the color they come out. Right. That's, that's um, lovely. I don't think any of these doors were stained when they were built because... Now how do you strip those? Chemical stripper. That's what you would use on these other ones as well? Yeah. These don't need it. We already sanded and put a coat of gloss on those. Okay. Those get gloss because the, all the stuff in the stateroom is gloss. Cool. Okay. But only in the stateroom and in the galley. Gotcha. We've, we've been aired the bulkhead since you were here last? No, because we hadn't seen it installed. So this is the uh, sample of the veneer that we got left. It's pretty good stuff. Um, very durable, as far as I know, and supposedly waterproof. Um, it's one, one millimeter, roughly, yeah, which is almost exactly the thickness of the Formica. So our metal caps will fit back on there. Um, we have enough left to do some more stuff. We'll talk okay. about it when we get up here. Yeah. Um, but let's go up. Here we go. Pretty amazing. That is such a difference. It's not too dark, it's not too light, it's just... That was a concept not, none of the old guard had. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, well, this is, uh, came out great, great, Clint. So, thanks to Renee for pushing for this. Yeah. Really is spectacular. Beautiful grain. Good choice all around, huh? For, I think so. For in here. It's not too dark and it's not all washed out looking. You know? And it's only got the two, what I call soaker coats. We thin the varnish about 25-30%. And you just lay it on heavy so that it soaks in. And then about, oh, depending on temperature, an hour or so later, you lay a second heavy coat on. So that when it soaks in and dries, you get this. At this point, you could almost not put any more varnish on. Yeah. It's a question of how, what you really want for finish. We were looking for that satin finish, so. Yeah. And same up in the, the uh, stateroom. You can see we went inside here only because when you open this door, there was some really ugly uh, stuff on the bulkhead. There was a uh, whole bunch of one inch holes and cutouts in there um, that would have just not looked good when you opened the door. Right. And then these fascias we made to replace that part of the, where the uh, yeah. uh, closet was. And then the aluminum caps notch around this and come up just above this. Beautiful. We're monkeying with them, getting them right, you know, before we install. Yeah. But they look original. Yeah, I mean, they do, they do. Even I like the, I like the paint, I mean, the, uh, the stain is very similar, very yeah. good, yeah. Very, very nice. nice and, original. This is super and has this been restained here? No. That's original. That's original stain? Yeah. Huh? yeah. Oh, I took that off. <laughs> What was it? Yeah. How many times? Oh, that thing. Oh, tell me how many bruises. bruises we all have from that thing. Right now, so. Yeah. You're gonna leave the uh, the piece there, the block there. Um, actually, that's gonna probably be obsolete. Yeah. Since the closet came out, remember, and the door. Maybe just leave it as a reminder of what used yeah. to be there. We could varnish it. Varnish it up. <laughs> I started sanding the metal, the railings, and. Oh, so the railings off now. Yeah. All right. So the whole little edge is off here. Yeah. And you, you thought we needed to take that off and just polish that up? Well, we had to take it off working these in and out of there. Oh, okay. And, uh, and working this little sure, frame yeah. here. 
Right. It's about an eighth inch high, so it just goes flush with the new face frame there. We're gonna polish it up with some 220 and maybe spray a clear coat on it. And okay. It's gonna look nice. Get all that pitting off there and varnish that was stuck to it from the past. See, at least it's all now looking. This is all pretty much. And you got this one off too. Yeah. So it's all gone. And of course, the V-birth entryway. And, <clears throat> and then, right, you've still got this one, right? We've, yes, we've yes. got this one. Oh, yes. All right. I'm not getting rid of any of that. Great. Very get a little nice. bit of storage there. Yeah. Looks great. Well, boy, the stateroom looks a lot bigger, doesn't it? It does. It does. Yeah, it's right. nice. Get it back together. Yeah. Is there a trim piece for those? Well, no, this doesn't have one. We just have to. Uh, uh, tape this off now and sand this really good okay. so that you have a nice clean That's deck beam there. I like it like that without the trim. Yeah. Um, of course we have the, the aluminum that goes on. And while we had it off, all these bulkheads were just bone dry. So we took that thin varnish and just kept slopping it on there until it wouldn't soak in anymore. So they're pretty well sealed now. All the bulkheads? Yeah, they were just... They didn't have any on them. All right, so back in the nav station. We're still not quite done here. Uh, but the table is all in. The top is in. Yeah, this is just in. Right now we're trying to, we're fitting the new cabinet back there. Yeah. The now wall. is this top in here permanently now? No, no. It has to go in and set screws involved here just so everything lines up so we can get this. Once this is installed, We'll get the cleat on there and we can make our patterns for the ceiling planks. Okay. On this port side. Work our start, way out. Start wrapping up in here. Yeah, there's just a little bit, I mean, not much left to do. Okay. New framing in here, new framing. This, this stuff's just <laughs> off the loose. And yeah. All right, but that's no big deal. These pieces are already stained, you know. Right. Look a lot nicer when that's on. The fiddles are all stained up and ready to go. This part here is all ready yeah. This, to go. These pieces are done here. Yeah. Tops are done. Yeah, it's gonna look really nice. Done, with done, done, done. All right. We were fitting this little cabinet yesterday, and you can see it has a, a small partial bulkhead over there. Okay. Behind, in that corner, which is really a dead space, we got lots of room for Dave to run his wiring loom down. Okay. Also, it'll act somewhat like a chimney for ventilation of the fridge and up through the bills. Another chimney. That's just that little wing over there you're talking about? Yeah. Now the ceiling planks will come in okay. and tie into that, so. Um, uh, that's the next thing up here is working on ceiling planks? Yes. We're, we're, at the end of the day yesterday, we were still fitting that okay. um, when, when we ran out of steam, but uh, then we'll make a, a full-size pattern for this. And then we have to do this rail here, and this thing's ready to go in at that point. What's the rail gonna be? <sighs> dress? It'll be uh, uh, the same uh, Sapili, okay. which looks a lot like Honduras mahogany. I and think. that'll wrap all the way around? Yeah, so this rail will go around here, the corner piece, and go back to there. And then there's, a, of course, the piece that goes this way, to uh, hold the lids down, which we just left out because we didn't want it in our way. Um, and I, yesterday, I pretty much made an executive decision to um, make this little shelf in here permanent. Okay. So I'm thinking, there's no. Re why would you ever take it out? Okay. <laughs> so, and by permanent, I don't mean glued and epoxied in. But if you really, really had to, you could remove it. But it's hard to fit in and take out, so there's no reason to, because your feet go under here, and it's kind of a dead space. I gotta take my son to a specialist. Dude, what's up? He's got a bead in his ear. He's got a what? A bead. A bead? There's a bead in his ear, and the doctor tried getting it out, and it just, it's so inflamed and bloody, he started bleeding all over the place, and had three uh. nurses holding him down, and he's just, I, sorry, I gotta leave. No, no, no go him. for it. Well, Kid, the kid's more important. Yeah, uh, so sorry. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow morning. Okay, right, Clint. Stay in touch. See ya. Um, uh, bloody. 
Anyway, so this bulkhead here. It Doug, doesn't miss a bead. No, what's a bead? You know? <laughs> this piece here, we bolted through with these small carriage bolts and this spacer. Yeah. So that's the primary source of strength for this entire cabinet, except for this big bulkhead we put in the engine room, the new bulkhead. Right. Now this is an inch thick, as is all of this structure because of its size. This bulkhead here is actually a part of the strength of this deck, believe it or not. So, yeah, right. because it's just... Sure, sure. So, it's all connected. Yeah, and at one yeah. inch thick, it's a much, well, much better sound barrier than, say, three quarter. And when they get down to it, they're going to remount the oil filters and uh, fuel filters, or rather, to the side of it. To, to the side of it, so there's plenty gotcha. of meat to screw to. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, same with this shelf. I think we talked about it before. It's an inch thick. Yeah, yeah. For soundproofing. That's about it. Great, and you got the doors back on. Yeah. Here. Yeah, let's see that. Look at that. Yeah. We like that. Oh, yeah. We some adjustments still on. That's okay. Good, good. But, but nice. all the doors except that little guy is on, and that one we just mount all These are the on. two you're working on downstairs right now, yes? <coughs> The ones you're working on? No, those are right here. Oh, those are those. Yeah. We just didn't put those in yet because we're just generally working no, in this area. That's great. Look, it's all coming together. Yep. It's and all done. Now, time to go back up, finish up the, finish up the planks. Well, yeah, and then there was a lot of other stuff, too, like right here. I don't know if you remember these braces. Yeah, yeah, we talked about They were just the, kind of falling really apart. This had a big hump in it, so we were able to pull that down and clamp it straight so that when now when you look at it, you won't see that hump in there. And of course, we put Formica on all no, the shelves. Good. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, not a lot of excitement except for that veneer, which I love, so I'm happy it came out like that, and I think we'll probably end up with maybe one more coat on it. Okay. Great. Or not. Well, I mean, or not. You want to just look right in the camera and say, great job, Renee? Oh, yeah, good choice. It was, Renee. I'm glad I was part of it. <laughs> <laughs> good. See, we can see each other there. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> so what are we going to see uh, on our uh, next episode? We have to talk a little louder because we have my... Okay, well, the, the interior in a month, you say. Yeah, it's going to be probably close to a month because I'm off to New York. I'll see you guys in New York. Okay, we're going to live just a couple days over the of July birthdays. Um, but except for a little bit of pickup work, I'm thinking the interior will be done. Alright, so in a month we'll come back, we should see all this stuff and be wrapping up inside and then we'll be back to planking. Yes. Yeah. Planking. I'm going to even tap across my phone. <laughs> but yes, and then um, we'll... Yeah, a few months of planking mm -hmm. and then deck. And, uh, you know, we're trying to get out of here by the end of the year, but I'll say it right now. I don't think it's going to happen. But, uh... The naysayers. <laughs> but oh, thank you. Oh, little faith. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see you in a month? Yes. Mid-July. Good. Okay. Either that or next week. I'm not sure. That'll be good. Okay. No, I don't think next week. All right. See you next time. Hasta la vista.